Well, one thing is clear. The bond market is fretting about Italy. And this is because the government in Rome insists on increasing public spending, even if investors or the European Union seem against these plans. So if you look at the market reaction on Tuesday, the yield on the 10-year Italian government bond hit 3.7%. And just to give you some context, the same yield was at 2.8% less than two weeks ago. According to two analysts that I spoke with yesterday, the, this increase in yields suggests that the financial markets have lost confidence on the Italian finance minister. As the yields were moving higher on Tuesday, Giovanni Tria was addressing the Italian parliament and his comments that the budget is not irresponsible did not seem to calm down the markets. Giovanni Tria also said on Tuesday that the budget forecasts for 2019 are not shocking. Let me remind you, Matt, that uh, this government wants to increase spending in a way that the deficit is expected to hit 2.4% of GDP in 2019, and that is three times higher than what uh, the uh, Italian government had previously agreed with the EU. Silvia, walk us through the politics here, because the populist government has, of course, been mentioning a lot these European elections, Salvini calling it a revolution. What can you tell us? That's a very, a very interesting point you're raising, Hadley. Actually, the Italian government keeps, keeps referring to the upcoming European elections with a lot of hope. The idea in Rome is that the new elections that are scheduled to take place in May will deliver a very fragmented European parliament with more populist lawmakers. And so the, uh, the, uh, the hope is that the new European parliament will actually relax the European fiscal and budget rules. And so the ongoing dispute that you see now between Rome and uh, Brussels would no longer be a headache. But of course there's plenty of time to go before the European elections take place and it's hard to predict at this point how the new parliament might vote. Back to you guys. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.